everybody. Glenda Mollett here and welcome to my craft room tonight. I was diddle daddling along and looked at the clock. I was like, oh my gosh, it's seven o'clock. I got to go live. So I'm here. Hello. We're going to do a card tonight using some new stuff that's going to become available for free in January. And I hope you are going to enjoy this. Okay, I'm just going to pop over to Facebook, make sure it's streaming over there, doing its thing. Yep, it is. All right. So it is my last live stamping dem demonstration of the 2023 year. This is it tonight. The next time we get together, it's going to be next year. and. It will be very close to catalog launch, if not on catalog launch. I don't know when. I haven't got my January catalog calendar up yet. Let me have a look. Okay, so we will be together. Yep. On January the 4th, this is the next time I will be live. So, hello, Kathy. Yeah, it is exciting. I'm looking forward to it. I just need to check and see what date this catalog actually goes live because you know it's okay. So the next time we are together stamping live, it will be the day of the catalog launch. And then I'll give you all the details about my catalog launch party. Hi, Pat. Hi, Janet. Oh, got a Facebook user. Nadine, hello, hello. All right. So let me just flip you around because, you know, you don't need to see this mug anymore. You're here to see other stuff. Let me flip you around and I'll pop over and see. Oh, there's Yvonne and Holly. Hey, OK. I All I'm seeing is so far I can see Kathy and Janet. Everybody else's name is hidden from me tonight. Sometimes I wonder what happens. Here's the chocolates. Are you ready for your last chocolate of the season? I wrapped the nuggets up in some pretty Christmas paper. This is the St. Nicholas one, Legend of St. Nicholas or whatever it's called. And then this is the sugar-free side. There's the sugar-free um, peanut butter cup. These are sugar-free orange cream candies. Those are, I've only ever seen these in Tofino. If you ever get to Tofino, go into the pharmacy because my gosh, they have the coolest stuff in there. <laughs> yeah, I've got to love Facebook, eh? Um, you get diet candy. Okay, there's a Girardelli snowman. These are the, um, I threw the bag away. Sugar cookie kisses, Kit the Cats. Um, hi, Chew. That's pretty well it. I loaded all the rest of these kisses in here. Kathy wants the Girardelli snowman. It's okay because it's live. We can share more than one of you can have the Girardelli. This one is milk chocolate with caramel in the middle of it. Hello, Facebook Live, Facebook user. Hey, Valerie. Yes. Okay. So. Have you got your fill of chocolates? It's your last one for the year. And when I move this, you're going to see the card we're going to be making tonight. So are you ready? Are you ready to see this absolutely stunningly gorgeous card, if I do say so myself? And yes, I do say so myself. Here we go. Look at this. Look, just look at this. Is that not? beautiful and then when you open it up look you get the benefit of the inside of that gorgeous paper so there's one side of it oh there's my recipe Let's put that there in case you ask questions about it and there's the other side of it and then this has been fussy cut from the paper and this has been fussy cut from the paper. And this has been fussy cut from the paper. Do you want to see the paper? I have somewhere. Well, this way. 
I have a brand new unopened pack. So let me open this. You are going to want to get your pen and your paper and write this number down because you're going to want to order this come the 4th of January, unless you already have, of course. If you're a demonstrator, you've already had access to this paper. If you're not a demonstrator, mark down January the 4th. It's a huge, huge, huge day. So it is number 162977, and it's called Flight and Airy Paper. And the only way you can get this paper is for free. You can't pay for it. So place a minimum $60 order, and you can order this paper for yourself. You ready for this? Okay, let me, I should have, I didn't want to open this package. So there's one sheet. So, you know, you're going to see the, the A side and the B side. Oh, Nadine got this paper today. Kathy says she has it. Look at this. I'm sorry, but there will be fussy cutting in your future. But you can always use like an oval or a circle or a rectangle or something and cut this out. So there's the A side and there's the B side. This paper is sun stunningly beautiful. And then this one, I haven't, I haven't used this one yet. I have not cut this up because this is quite a big um, image, but look at this. Now, does the A and B sides of these papers not go really well together? I'm telling you. And there's this one. And then this one has a floral pattern on the back side of it with a blue. This is balmy blue that's in here. Oh, sorry, boho blue. So there's a blue background on that one. And then this one with this on the back. And this is the one I used. Hang on, I'm digging my card out. This is the one I used on this card is this this pattern and then finally there's the little bird that i cut out for the envelope and it has the same pattern but it's in a pink background now the pink on this that's not the one the pink on this is bubble bath so it's got all the colors. It's got pinks and purples and yellows and blues. So what do you think? Do you, do you think that paper's pretty or am I talking out of my hat? Do you like it? I would like to fussy cut. See, these are kind of in a strip here. And I'm, I'm thinking if you were very careful where you cut, you could get like four cards widths out of this plus times two. But you could also fussy cut it. Oh, I just, I love it. I absolutely love it. So that's what we're going to use today to make this card. Can I show you a couple of Christmas cards that I got? Do you want to see them now? Celebration has so many gorgeous papers. You're right, Kathy. I have, it's been a while since I've seen such amazing papers in the mini catalog and in the celebration catalog. It, both of them are absolutely stunning. And I was listening to a thing by Stamping Up the other day, and they said that the, the sales of designer paper has increased significantly this year. It's like, no kidding, people. You have amazing papers now. Okay, a few Christmas cards. This one is, this one's from Connie. Hello, Connie, and thank you so much. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? She did some embossing. It's got um, some foil shapes on there. Thank you, Connie. This one is from my friend Diane who today told me I'm the shortest of her friends because <laughs> today is happy short woman day because it's the shortest day of the year. Yay, spring's on its way. 
this one is from Carla. Carla shows up here every once in a while. She lives here in Port Alberni and she has the longest surviving member of my team. She's not the oldest, she's the longest surviving. Longest staying, I shouldn't say surviving. Longest staying. This one is by Shannon. Who I think this is the the Shannon who is on holidays. I do believe she's somewhere hot and sunny right now. This one, oh, this is from Leanne. My friend Leanne in Saskatchewan, and she always sends a picture of her family there. And when they took this picture, this little sweetheart was still right there. Still a bump. So she added the picture in afterwards. Isn't that cute? And this one, I love this one. This is from Tamara. This is the paper that I wrapped my Chris, my nuggets in. This is the, I don't know, something of St. Nick's. This one is from Carmen. Carmen shows up here all the time. Isn't that pretty? So easy, so elegant. And she's, can you see the, let me see if I can get the light shining on it. Can you see the score lines? She's put three score lines all the way around the card. Isn't that lovely? That's it. So, like I said, the next time we get together is going to be next year because this is the last time I'm going live this year. I decided that I've given myself next week off. It was really funny. My boss gave me the rest of today off. So somewhere around three o'clock, my lovely boss said to me, take the rest of the afternoon off. That lasted about 13 minutes. And I ended up with four messages, two phone calls and an email that had to be dealt with. And so I went and did what I had to do. I had to go run out and do a delivery. I came back and I said, I said to myself, okay, I'm going to try this again. I sat down at that time. I got 23 minutes before I had a message. <laughs> it was funny. Okay. All right. So I'm going to use different paper on this one tonight. So this one uses um, fresh freesia. And this one I'm going to use calypso coral. And then here's that paper that I hadn't fussy cut because the, the images are so big. So there's the one side and then it's blue on the other side. So I don't know whether this Calypso Coral is going to go or if I'm going to have to go and get the blue, which is, what did I say it was? Boho blue. So we'll see whether this works with Calypso Coral. Then I have a piece for the inside that is three by four and a quarter. And if you see inside, I cut it with one of the deckled rectangle dies. And then I have a piece of white that is two and five eighths by two and five eighths. And I'm going to use, can you see the embossing on, on that? And the words, that's another free stamp set that's coming in January for celebration. So the designer paper, the embossing folder, and the stamp set are all free. So this card does not cost very much to make at all. Then I have a piece of fresh freesia that is two and three quarters by two and three quarters. And I'm going to layer that embossed piece on it for the front. Then this is five eighths by one and three quarter for the sentiment. And then I, I partially did some fussy cutting. But I'm thinking that I need to, I need to get my, I might have to put more, more birds on there because I don't think that's enough. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is emboss this. So I have boho blue ink, and I think that's still going to work. And I'm going to use, this is the Softly Sophisticated Bundle. Now this is a level two celebration item coming for free in January. You get an embossing folder and look at that. Isn't that pretty? And then stamp set. And these, it's a double time stamping. So you stamp the, the flowers and then the leaves or the leaves and the flowers. But I love the sentiments. So I'm going to use those. I'm going to use a deckled rectangle die and finish off with some 
more free stuff. So when I made this card, I used the opaque ovals on it. Can you see them there? One, two, three. Because these hadn't come in yet. These are the opaque faceted gems, and they are also free in during celebration. So I thought we'd use this color if it ends up, if we end up using the Calypso Coral Base. Okay, let's emboss this first. And this is going to go diagonally. So I'm going to pay attention to where I place this in here because I kind of want it to be straight-ish. So I'm lining up. I'll show you in a half a sec here. And I get it lined up. So I lined up the point up there at that spot. And then I lined up the point at exactly the same spot down there so that all of the stuff is going to be linear. But, you know, I'm OCD and that's why linear happens in my world. But linear doesn't happen, have to happen in your world. You don't need to have it straight like I do. All right. So don't forget one more day to register for my So Refreshing class. I know it's not new stuff. So Refreshing has been around a while because it's in the annual catalog. But I haven't done a class on it yet. And I figured that there may be people out there who want to do it and have not have the bundle and have not done a So Refreshing class. And did you know that all of my classes come with exclusive step-by-step -step tutorials, video tutorials on how to create all of the projects? So if you can't make the class, you can do it by the tutorials. And I have some people that do my tutorials. By the time the class rolls around, they're already done. Okay, so there's the embossed piece. Now. The trick with this designer paper is you measure down two inches on each side, then you cut it in a diagonal and take those pieces, flip them around and put them down in the bottom corner. So it looks like you've created a, a diamond shape, but you really haven't because this is just the pieces that cut off of here. Is that not amazing? I thought it was. Okay, so I'm going to get my a ruler and my pencil, pencil, there we are. And I'm gonna measure down two inches. I'll move my mouse here, measure down two inches. And then I'm going to turn it around. So what did you guys do? Um, I was live on Tuesday night. So what have you been doing since Tuesday night? Are you all ready for Christmas now? Have you got everything wrapped and baked and put out and trees up and decorated and are you ready to go? I am. I just have the cooking part left. And then I am done. Okay, I'm going to get my paper trimmer without making an avalanche, hopefully. Now, I'm going to cut so there's my two inch mark right there. So I'm going to cut from this score line down to that two inch mark. So I line up that two inch mark in the channel of my paper trimmer and then turn it around until the top of that score line is also in the channel. That's the embossing blades. And then I'm going to cut that off and then do exactly the same thing on the other one. Line up that score line and on the channel. Line up my mark on the channel. Let's see. There we go. Oh, somebody, some Facebook user says not ready yet. <laughs> well, you know, today's only the 21st. You still have three full days left. Okay, so we have that now. You take this and see, it's going to have blue showing. So can you tell me, is that going to be all right with the blue? Or do you think I should switch to white 
I don't think white or boho blue in the background. What do you think? Well, I turn these around and attach them at the bottom. So first of all, I'm going to get my silicone mat and put some stamp and seal on it on the back of each one. I'm trying to get right into the corners because I don't want it to lift up. There we go. Oop. I have a, apparently my blade needs to be changed in my trimmer. Somebody said blue. Some, Connie says it's fine the way it is. Okay, so I'm just lining this up right in the very corner there. And I'm really upset about the cut. Because I should have changed my blade. Do I have a piece of blue to put under so we Yes, I can get one. Absolutely, Kathy. I'm going to change my blade. Have you have you changed the blade in your paper trimmer yet? So to do that, there's a little spot right here in your paper trimmer. I'll show you up close, right there. It's a little bit wider in that plastic channel. So you take your, you take your blade to that hole and lift it out. Don't ever put your finger under there and push because that, even though it's dull, is very, very, very sharp. So now what I do is, I give this to hubby and he takes it out to his shop and he does magic things with it and he makes it he makes it sharp again and then you just take your blade and go back in that hole and that's how easy it is to cut or to change your blade okay because i should have done that before i cut this that's definitely not cutting the way it should okay let's get some um adhesive on this and then we'll put it on the other corner and then i'll get a piece of boho blue and we'll have a look see which one would look better um i can get fresh freesia too maybe fresh freesia because that's the color I'm using behind the sentiment. So there you go. Did I do that where you could see it? I hope I did. So there you go. So when you close this now, it looks like you've made a diamond on there. But really, all you've done is cut the top corners off and flip them around. Okay, so I'm gonna use my bone folder again. And I will get bow hopefully and fresh piece. Okay, so here it is on Calypso Coral. And that's going to go there like that. So do you see? Can you see that up close a little bit maybe? There it is, Calypso Coral. And fresh breezy. I don't know whether I've got a piece big enough, but we we can fake it, right? There's fresh free. Oh, I don't like that at all. Mm -mm 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 -mm. No, uh, uh. There's fresh freesia in behind it. I don't like that. I like fresh freesia on that. Okay, and. Boho. There's boho. There. So which one do you think is better? Boho or Calypso Coral? Maybe I need to change this to Calypso Coral. Uh, 
and I'll bring a white one over just so you can have a look. Nobody is commenting. Hi, Carmen. Oh, yes, they are. Let's see, somebody said blue. Connie likes it with the coral. Somebody else said blue. Somebody else said blue. Oh, you guys like the blue? Then there's white. Maybe that's the white that needs to happen. Hmm. I am just grabbing my paper silk. So I think I'm going to plus a couple more things out of it for this card. Janet says coral. Somebody said, I actually like fresh freesia, lost Lagos chili. <laughs> Whatever that is, white. Oh, yeah, I'm thinking white too, ladies and gentlemen. I'm thinking white. I kind of like that. Okay. Somebody liked the fresh freesia, did you? Okay, going with white, but not that because that's a card base. Yep, he's white now. And I'm going to cut the white to five and a half by four and a quarter. We'll see how good this new blade is. Five and a half. Come on. Ooh. Oh, look at that. By four and a quarter. Isn't that lovely when you get a new blade and it cuts properly? Okay. There we go. Yeah. -ha. The white is good. Okay, what was I doing? Oh, yes. I kind of remember now. I have a mess. I have a crafter mess. So I'm going to die cut this with deckled rectangles one, two, three, four, five. Cut that out. And we will. that on that goes on the inside but i'm going to put the the birds for the inside on first okay and stamp the sentiment in a boho blue ink on this little tiny piece so now you're getting a taste a sneak peek of celebration stuff Designer paper, stamp set, embossing folder. What do you think? Do you like you like the this stuff so far? I think I've showed shown you a couple of other sneaky peeky things. I did bring out the what's this one called? lighter than air designer paper so it's the one that goes with the hot air balloon bundle to show you because if you take the so refreshing class you get some of that paper in your packet oh it's so pretty i love this paper man Okay, so now I'm going to put this here and I'm lining up the points with the the center, the split like that. And then I'm going to just run a, a line down there so I know where to put the adhesive on this. Kathy, this 
mini catalog and celebration are the best I've seen in a long time. And I keep saying there's something in this mini catalog for everyone. Doesn't matter what your likes are. And one of my friends said to me the other night that I had told her that there was something for everyone. And she said, I'm going through the catalog. And I thought, well, I thought Glenda knew me a little bit better than this because I'm not really liking a lot of the stuff in here. And then she said, and then I turned the corner and there was the dog background. And she said, yep. Yeah, She's right. So there is. There's something in there for everybody. Okay, so I'm going to get my the bird out that I started to fussy cut because I figured I would speed things up a bit if I did some before I started. So we're just going to finish fussy cutting this and then I'll put it on there and we'll see if I need to put another one because this one was just so I put a double one that was quite wide on this one. And I might need to put another one on here with this one. So we're not expecting a white Christmas this year. Um, are you guys where you live? Are you do you have snow already? And, and or are you expecting a white Christmas? I was talking to my sister who lives in Kamloops, which is in the interior of BC. And they live on a ski mountain called Sun Peaks. And it's a huge resort. And people from all over the world go there for a Christmas vacation for skiing. And she said the snow is awful. They don't even have a lot of snow yet. And, of course, they live in an area they don't have snowmaking equipment. And it was actually raining at the bottom of the hill the other day. So I'm hoping that those poor people that have spent all that money to go to Sun Peaks for Christmas vacation will actually get to go skiing. They need some cold up there. Because it's not good on the end of December to have you know, the only snow up the hill is slushy stuff. I guess if you go way up to the very top, there's probably snow up there, but it's not going to be very good. And if you have everybody skiing in the same areas, it could become problematic. Carmen lives higher in Port Alberni than I live, and she said they're not expecting snow up there either. Look at this. Oh, my God, that is so pretty. Okay, we'll get some dimensionals on the back of this as soon as I find them. Connie is not expecting snow. Do you usually get a snowy winter, Connie? Because I know you live, you live in Nevada, and you live. I think you told me eight hours from Las Vegas. I don't know whether Las Vegas area gets snow or not. And I don't know whether the area that Connie lives in, whether she gets snow or not either. All right, so there's that. Now I do need to get a strip to put right there. All right, we'll put this on here now. And then you can tell me, I'm looking for my little garbage can. You can tell me if you think I need to add some more. I'm thinking I might be all right. This one is big enough that it might just work. I'm taking all the backing up my dimensionals here. Right, let's put it on. Yeah, it's fine. I don't need any more. We'll put it up. Put it up high enough so I can put the sentiment underneath. And Oh, back out my dimensionals here. Uh oh. Marie doesn't have sound. Oh, that's not good, Marie. Hopefully, you can figure that out. Because I do believe I have sound. Everybody is saying they, they have sound, so it should be all right. I know sometimes I don't. 
but that's when I push a wrong button and I don't, and it doesn't say on my phone that I'm muted. So I sh should be good to go. Marie, maybe, oh, this, if somebody can, can type in the comments to Marie to go out and come back in again, that might help her. Okay, so the sentiment is going to go, oops, I think that's a little crooked. Right there. Look at this. Kathy says, next to no snow here in High River, Alberta. The next few days will be so warm it will all melt and be gone and no snow in the forecast. Absolutely unheard of for the end of December. Who is that? Oh, hi, Lori. Yeah, you can watch the replay. Um, they're made using the Flight and Airy designer paper that's free for celebration. Okay, so I'm going to take my, my die cut, and I only have one thing cut out for the inside, and I'm thinking I should do something at the top. But let's get some adhesive on this. I have to get my my glue. And I had to move my water, so I just decided to take a drink while I was at it. Okay, putting Tombow all the way around here. Love me some Tombow. And I know this is not for everyone, but if I can tell you anything of what your um, New Year's resolution should be, it should be to learn to use Tombow. Oh, good. Marie's got sound working now. And she's having a white Christmas. Yay, Marie. So take a, get a bottle of Tombow and practice with it. You want to go lightly squeeze it so that it comes out in little tiny amounts. Don't try to add a lot of glue. I, do, I find that glue kind of makes your paper wet and sometimes you end up with wrinkly paper. Okay. Let's see if I can find something to fussy cut here so that I have a piece for the inside. Um, not that one, this one. Oops. Um, 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 um. Mm. Let's just fussy cut that little bit right there. It doesn't have to be much. Just, I want it with an, an edge, because I like using the edge pieces, because they deserve some love too. So we'll just put this on the top, so that it's kind of hanging down over top. And because it's so small, of course, it's going to be a pain to cut, but that's okay. I'll do it. So I love the colors the artist has used in this and it's like a, it's a watercolor painting and then they they paint the whole paper and then they take photographs of it and that's how they turn it into designer paper and they've been doing a lot of this lately and you can tell because it's original artwork it's gorgeous now there are some people out there that don't like flowery stuff. And I get it. You're allowed to have your opinion. But don't think that Celebration and the mini catalog is only all about flowers because there is papers that are not flowery at all. There is one set, and I've showed it before, for Celebration called Trusty Tools. And it's got tools on it. It's absolutely perfect for masculine cards. You're going to love it. Let's 
Somebody, the Connie says it's a better value than the tape runner. It is. This is very good value for your money when you use Tombow. It goes a long way. And if you put, if you don't like it squishing, and I don't like it when it squishes out because then you get glue everywhere. And if you let it sit while you do other things and let it turn into clear. Now I'll hold this one up. This one is almost finished. See how it goes clear? When it goes clear like that, you put it on your project and the glue doesn't squirt out. Tombow is all Marie uses. Who's that that says she uses? Nadine uses Tombow. Hardly ever use a tape runner. That's good. I use tape runners because it's easy on my Facebook lives. All right. So I've got my inside piece. We're going to put this on now. So it's, can you see that right down at the bottom? I'm just, oops, it's kept going the right way. It's going to line up one edge and go down, cover up the bottom like that. And then I'll grab my envelope. And we're going to put this bird on the envelope. You don't have to have a full bird on the envelope. These part ones work. So don't throw away your extra pieces. Also get a fine tip applicator from Amazon. It's great as you get. Ah, yes, Connie. I, I've got those sitting there and I keep forgetting to order them. Because I can get them like in a bulk pack. So anybody local wants, wants a fine tip applicator. I am going to get some in. Connie, do you can you let me know which one you use? Because there's a whole bunch of them um, in Amazon. And I'm not sure which one is the best. They're probably all the same. Okay, so we'll put this inside. Open that up. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. You're going to get tired of hearing that, but I can't tell you how happy this paper makes my heart. There we go. There's the inside. Ooh, Kathy loves Tombow. Somebody got... Nadine, did you get a fine tip applicator at the dollar store? I don't think our dollar store carries such things. Um, Carmen might know. Carmen, do does our local dollar store carry fine tip applicators for the glues? Bling. I have to put bling on. May not be using this bling. Oh, yeah. We can use this bling. Hmm. Maybe not. What do you think? That bling, this one, or something else? Let me get those uh, opaque ovals. Let's see what color. Maybe the purple opaque ovals like I used on the first one. Okay. Holly wants one. Hello, Holly. Okay, I will order some in. Thumbs up, everyone. <laughs> Whoops. Okay. Oh, maybe yellow. Pull out the yellow in the center. Because I'm thinking, yes, let's use the yellow ones. So these are lemon lolly because it will pull out the it'll pull out the yellow from the center of the flowers. And put one down here. These are ovals. And this is get, taking me out of my comfort zone because ovals are not something that I typically use. I find them for embellishments. We've had ovals before and I find them hard to use. So I'm trying to use them Get myself out of my comfort zone. Okay. And 
Maybe we'll put one up here. There we are. Okay, Connie sent me a link and I am going to go over to Facebook and I'm going to click on that so that it opens up and I can go have a look at it. Oh, okay. That's awesome. I will, that's in dot com. So I will go on to the, lo, the Canadian version of Amazon and see what I can find. Ours in Texas is the Dollar Tree. Oh, okay. We have a Dollar Tree. We have a Dollar Tree. That was Nadine. So maybe I'll, I'll go and look and see if Dollar Tree has them locally first. And or maybe I'll just order them off of Amazon because you know what? They come right to my door and I don't have to go anywhere. I don't want to go out anymore. I'm done. I forgot to give somebody a catalog when I was doing my club deliveries today. And I said, I'll get one to you. And I told her in a day or two. And then I got home and I thought, I don't want to go out again tomorrow. I'm already out. I have my coat on. My car is warm. I'm going. So I picked the catalog up and took it out to her. I don't have to go out. 125 for six. Really? Oh, okay. I doubt if they're going to be like that here. But I w maybe I will go out in the morning and, and check. Thanks, Nadine. And thanks, Connie, for that link. So here's our card. What do you think? Yes? No? I love it. I love it. I think I'm going to be spending quality time fussy cutting for the next little while. Okay. I also wanted to show you the the lighter than air paper so i want to show you these too so these are off of amazon they are 12 by 12 paper storage they're pleated so they go flat but if you put more than one package in then it, they expand let me show you the bottom they expand but the bottom will also go flat so um, I discovered these to store my designer papers in and I love them because I was always at a loss. How am I going to st store these in my storage spot? Because 12, six by six is hard to store, but I put it in here, just like I put my 12 by 12s in and it stands up in the same place. And then what I usually do, and I haven't done with this one because I just got these in because I needed more. So if you want a link to this, let me know. Um, I take, I make a label on my label machine with the name and the um, colors that are in it. And I put it right on the outside of my storage thing so that I can pull them out of the shelf and I know exactly what's in here. Okay, let me show you this lighter than air designer paper because you're going to be getting a half a package of this so 24 sheets of this paper when you um, take my so refreshing class because this is the paper I've used so we have that on one side and this on the other isn't this not perfect for that so refreshing class um, stamp set it's perfect paper for it that and then we have this on one side that on the other side and i think this is the one i used for the um the picnic mat then we have that and that on the other side some lemon lolly stripes and fresh freesia now you're probably going, oh, that does not look like a very nice paper, but oh my gosh, it is amazing. Look at this. So this is made to go with a hot light or the hot air balloon um, bundle, which I did get. Just arrived yesterday. So I'll be making cards with this one using this paper. But look at this. Is this not yummy paper? I love it. 
I love it. So where's my where's my thing? So you get you get a half a package of this paper. So you can make lots of extra cards with it. And you get a package of rainbow adhesive back dots. And yay, my order came in yesterday, so I have a full package. So you get a full package of those. And you get half a roll of, hang on, I'm go get it. Half a roll. Um, the white and silver sheer ribbon and kits for 12 cards or six cards 12 cards kits for 12 cards all for 45 dollars if you live locally you can come and do it in person with me if you don't live locally, but you live in Canada, then I will mail this off to you. Um, depending on the weight, it may cost a little bit, but if it's regular stuff, um, then I'm gonna cover the cost of it. But I'm also going to add in a selection of celebration stuff. I'm not saying what, because it all depends on what I have. So that is open. Um, until tomorrow, tomorrow's the last day to register, three cards plus this selection of goodies for $45. Then my Nature's Sweetness class. So this one is um, the new, in the new catalog, the Nature's Sweetness Sweet. I'm just trying to clear off my table here so I can tell you. Maybe I'll go get the the papers because oh this paper is gorgeous. So this and this. What is it? Gold foil. Gold foil. Gold foil. Okay. See, I have everything in these containers, so I know. And you can keep like a maximum, I've got up to three packages of paper in these things. So I know whether I have a spare package or not, which is really good because I never, I you would put them in one place or I'd put them in another place and then I'd lose track of them and I'd never know how many I had. This way, organization to the max. So this paper, I will just pull out, is gold foiled. Remember the card, I when did I make this? Was it Monday? I made the card and just die cut one of these images. So this is the paper it came from, gold foiled on white. So there's that one and this one and this one and this one. And I got a swap card today using this paper that is beautiful so i will be making that for you and that one so they all have gold foiling on one side and then when you flip them over there's um non-foiled on the other side so that you're going to get in the for the class you're going to get you're going to get six 12 by 12 12 by six sheets so you're going to get a quarter of a package of this designer paper plus the rainbow adhesive back dots now if you are if you take class number one and you get these then you're going to get the cork rounds instead because it's the cork rounds that actually go with this suite so that's what you're going to get so i unless you want two packages of rainbow dots that's fine um cork rounds and then some gold foil i'm going to give you a six by twelve sheet of gold foil and two sheets of 
adhesive sheets, two six by 12 sheets of adhesive sheet. And that's all for $45. Now this one is the one that is my monthly tutorial subscription. So you know that every month I do a tutorial. It's $15 to get the tutorial with a minimum of three months. So $45 Canadian or $45. In the if you're playing me by PayPal, then it's in the currency. If you live in the United States, it's in US dollars, and that just pays for the uh, exchange rate. If you live in another country, then I have to figure it out. So you're also going to get a selection of celebration papers with this class. But if you get the tutorial subscription, you get that card card as a bonus tutorial along with the other three. And if you register for the tutorial subscription and you want to upgrade to the kits, then I deduct the price of the tutorial subscription off the cost of the class. So if you pay $15 for the tutorial subscription, you're actually paying $45, but you're paying for three months. So you would pay for $15 of that goes towards the January subscription, and I will deduct it from the $45. So you only pay 30 to get the kits and all of the papers. And then um, you also get an invitation to stamp with me virtually or in person if you live lo locally and do the, the cards with me. Um, and when you do the three months of subscription tutorial, you can choose this one plus past ones or future ones or one past and one future if you've got one that i've done in the past and you want that one instead you can get that one who had a call valerie oh valerie that's okay that's what the replay is there five for okay so that those are the classes now this one is open till 6 of january the so refreshing is only open until tomorrow then I have my product shares as well. You can get the papers. Look at these papers. Look at these papers. Oh my gosh. They're so gorgeous. 48 six by six sheets for 22. Then there is the embellishments and you get 181 pieces of these embellishments for $23. Then the trims, you get two yards each of six, so three, four, five, six, so 12 yards for $9, or do it all together for $54. See, $54 for the I want it all. And then I will give you a selection of celebration products in with your product shares as well. So that is open until January the 2nd. And then the 4th of January, I will order all of these products and bring them here and sort them and cut them and package them and get them ready for you. And if you live in locally, you can come pick them up. And if not, they get mailed off to you and we will discuss postage when I figure out how much it is. I hope you guys have a wonderful Christmas. And if you're celebrating Christmas, if you don't celebrate Christmas, I hope you have a wonderful holiday season. Day off on mo on Monday for Christmas Day. Yes, Marie, Merry Christmas to you and many blessings to you and yours. And thank you so much for your continued support. I appreciate it. And Tuesday, Monday nights and Thursday nights are the highlight of my week. Let me tell you, I prep ahead. I plan. I think what will the ladies like? Oh, thanks, Kathy. Merry Christmas. And Carmen, thank you. I got your card today that was in the mailbox. And I showed it at the beginning of the video. Merry Christmas, everybody. I will see you on Thursday, January the 4th at seven o'clock p.m. right here in my VIP group for something. I can't remember what, something exciting. Unless I decide to go live between, it won't be for making your cards, but I might just go live and say hi.
because I'm going to miss you guys. It's going to be like two weeks. Aw, thanks, Kathy. Have a wonderful holiday, and I'll see you next year. I will be posting things while I'm away. I just won't be live. Thanks, everybody. Enjoy the rest of your evening, and I'll see you soon in my craft room. Stamp and smiles. Bye for now.